Right guys, uh, this is the first vlog in a while, or on this channel anyway, and um, <clears throat> I think this, this video will go on for a bit. It's a vlog explaining sort of um, up until now what I've been on YouTube and what I'm going to do next. Um, so if you wanted a, if you don't want to sit through the whole thing, I'll just give a quick insight now what it is. Um, it's I've had three channels over YouTube over the years, and um, <clears throat> I'll just be using this one from now on. I'm not going to delete the other two, but for now I'll just be using this channel. Um, so that's the main thing, this about like what I'm going to do on this channel from now on. So if you don't want to watch through the whole thing, just leave a comment um, telling me what you want from this channel. Um, so you can like vote, you want me to do more tutorials like I did with the Dazzle, do you want me to do games like I did with Killzone 2, or do you just want me to do vlogs, or maybe even do you want me to continue the rants I was doing on my other channel, but instead do them here. Um, right, that's it. Uh, so you can leave now if you don't want to stay through the long video that this is going to be. The video is going to be so long, I written notes. Yeah. I actually wrote out some notes because I don't want to start rambling, I want to try and keep to the point as much as I can. Um, right, <clears throat> so the first thing on my notes is um, over the gun. Uh, you might be thinking why am I putting him in the title, why am I including him in this video, am I just trying to get some cheap views from saying over the gun? Maybe. <laughs> no, um, the main reason I'm talking about over the gun is because um, I've, never, I've never done a vlog on him or I've never spoken directly about him and uh, he's one of the reasons he's definitely the reason this channel exists I set up this channel when I was starting my LPs um, and I inspiration from him as many of the people on his website um, and his community uh, many of them got inspiration from him to start doing their own LPs and stuff which I think is great because he's inspiring others to uh, start their own channels and uh, stuff like that um, and um, when I found him I think I found him Early last year, um, his Metal Gear Solid 1 playthrough is when I found him because I'd played Metal Gear Solid 4 and I'd really enjoyed it and I'd gone back and played Metal Gear Solid 3 and um, I couldn't be asked to buy Metal Gear Solid 1 so I was like, oh, I'm going to look through a playthrough on the internet and I found him and I was hooked from the start. He was really, really funny and entertaining in the way that he got pissed off at stuff and uh, in particular I remember when he couldn't remember the codec and he tried to go to someone else's uh, codec number and then he couldn't remember the colonel's codec number and he had a rant about that and I think that was quite funny and um, yeah so uh, he's probably the reason I'm this much on YouTube because before I started watching his videos and following him I, I, I went to YouTube for the odd video maybe just now and then for reference or I wanted to look up a song or something but um, nowadays I'm like on it most of the time waiting for him to put out a new video and um, when I was waiting for him to put out videos I started looking at other people's YouTubes and um, I got more hooked on YouTube because of uh, Liam. I'm going to call him Liam from now on because saying OTG or over the gun gets a bit annoying. Um, his real name is Liam, if you didn't know that you should. Um, yeah so he's probably he's the reason this channel exists because I, I wanted to do LPs. Um, talked about that um, what's it? yeah he's also apart from the reason this channel exists um, he's also the reason I've got half of my subscribers because when I they had one thing here um, he called it a commission the uh, Symphony of the Night set that he did um, I never really liked that term um, because I donated 50 pound to him don't know what that is in dollars you can work out but I donated £50 to him so he could get a new hard drive because um, his hard drive had broken because the kittens had spilt drink on it or something or some water and it had broken. And uh, so I was donating that. I was donating £50 and um, he wouldn't let me donate it. He said, um, you've got to do something. He he had, he wanted to do something in return. So I was like, I looked through his video. He said, yeah, do a, pick a playthrough for me to do. Pick any game for me to do. And uh, I know a lot of people wanted Metal Gear Solid 2, but um, I was looking through his playthroughs and the first one he hadn't finished was Symphony of the Night. I'd seen him go through the first castle of Symphony of the Night and I really enjoyed that LP. It was one of my favourite ones back then and um, he'd never finished it. He only went through the first castle and he said he would finish it, but he never finished it. So I just said, just finish, finish that LP, just go through the second castle. But in the end he decided to redo it altogether. Um, so he did the whole that and then he called it a commission and then from that Cloud found out about commissions from that and Cloud started doing them and 
we all know the how that ended, and, and in the end, Liam took the uh, commission down due to the fact that he didn't want his YouTube banned or in risk of banning it, um, and it's now up on his site. Um, I don't know, he's, he's making a new site at the moment, which will be easier to put the videos up, because at the moment it takes ages to download it. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, and also I get a lot of questions like, oh, you, you must be uh, Liam's best friend, and stuff like that, and it's like, or, or just Liam's friend, I'm like, I've talked to him over the internet, yeah, but I've never met him in real life, so I don't know how much you can be friends without ever actually meeting them face to face, but on the internet, yeah, okay, fine. But I did used to talk to him a lot more than I do now. Um, Steam was the way I talked to him. Uh, we used to have the odd conversation, even when it was, um, but then my Steam got hacked, and uh, he's never got around to re-adding me, so at the moment, if you want to... Uh, Talk to Liam, um, Adam's probably your best bet, and also known as Ophiwoo on the um, on the site, and 121S Wales Kid here on YouTube. So he's probably your best bet to get into contact with either him or uh, Claire. Um, and there's one thing, it's like, um, and I've also got asked, like, oh, how, did, how did you become a mod? Because I came along, I'd been watching his videos for a year, but I didn't join his website until early this year, I think January sometime this year. And um, I'm now a moderator on his website and on his JTV. And I, I always got questions like, how did you become a moderator and stuff? And um, I think the main thing is there are some followers that are so addicted to Liam. He's so addictive that they, they feel the need to, whenever he's on a stream or something, they feel the need to spam trying to talk to him. Like, they're constantly asking him questions, even when they probably know he can't see the screen, the chat. They're constantly asking him questions. They're constantly wanting recognition. They constantly want shout-outs. They constantly want all of this. And uh, I don't think any of that helps, because I never did that when I was just, like, not a mod, when I was just a member. Um, so I think... Doing that won't get you recognised and it won't get you liked by the uh, the general community because it gets pretty annoying when you see the same person spamming again and again and again and again trying to get Liam's attention when he's doing a stream. It's just annoying, so stop it. Um, anyway, yeah, so... I don't know, but I don't know why, how I became a mod. Um, they just picked me um, because I thought... It was people that had been there a lot longer than me. Uh, people like Night Rain, and uh, who I greatly respect, I think he's a great person, and uh, Hat the Turtle, people like that, they'd been there for longer. Um, they were fine authority figures, I thought, but um, I was made a mod along with uh, Sata, who I haven't seen in a while. Um, but yeah, so we were made mods. On top of, um, what's it, on top of Adam and Chrono, who were the mods that were they were made mods like just after I joined and um Liam, Claire and uh, Jambo um was it before I joined they were the mods though I don't see Jambo around a lot anymore so it's basically uh, Chrono, Adam and me cuz Sate is not around that more but if you do want to um you should come to the site because um there's a lot there's a lot of people that watch his YouTube videos but there's only about 20 or so hardcore followers that go on his site regularly and talk in the uh, the chat box. So um, I, I, I'd um, encourage you to come to the website because uh, we don't have that many people that we used to and it would be good to get a bigger community together again. At the moment it's otg.me.uk but he's making a new site which is overthegun.com